So fourth and last quick improver, and then to the slow improvers, uh, the deeper side. Um, so what's it like now? What do I have to do? So what's it like now? What do I have to do to simply get through today? So we save the best till last because this is the one I use every time uh, that for me things get really tough. Because the temptation always, for me at least, is to, to project our pain and our worry and our anxiety and our panic well beyond what's actually happening. And that can be totally overwhelming. So it becomes a really, the guy was talking about the vortex, a real vicious circle of the thought process. And I can really see how this works with just physical pain and discomfort. And just, if you take the kind of lung thing, so it was really kind of giving me asthmatic symptoms. Now, the pain or the discomfort in the now was one thing. And it can be uncomfortable, but it's usually manageable. It's usually, if you kind of go, okay, what level of pain do I have now? Can I get through the next five minutes? It's usually a yes. It's usually a, well, it's kind of, it's a five or a six, and I can get through the next five minutes. So it's usually okay in the present. But what do we do? We start to project it. I, I can't, you know, I, we, we start to panic about it because we're projecting it so much. You know, what if this doesn't go away? What if I'm like this for the next, you know, three months? I can't be like this for that long. What if it, it stays forever? So just ask yourself, what's it like now? What's the situation now? Can I get through this, the feelings I've got, this difficult situation, the uh, depression I'm feeling, these, these problems I've got, can I get through it now? Can I get through it over the next hour? Can I get through it over the next day? Because we usually can. So this is a really cool one for me. When it feels overwhelming, bring your attention to now and today chunk down reality to the slime to the slime to the slimy slot to the time slot of today uh, and that means basically taking one step at a time and that's what I do I always have I remember at school I go back a bit again uh, when I really wasn't enjoying school and I had a, a day full of disgusting awful lessons and I couldn't bear the thought of the whole day I had a technique I had a strategy for that thought when I woke up in the morning I couldn't bear the day which was well, what have I got for my first lesson? Can I get through that? And the answer was usually let, yes, and I wouldn't look beyond it. I'd just take that first step and think about the next step later. So our fuck it mantra for this one is, fuck it, one step at a time is enough. Okay? I like the bit of saying to yourself, well done, you know, at the end of the day. Yeah step by step going through the day if it's been a difficult day or something's come up to say well you know well done guy well done John um, so you can do that to yourself right now even if it's not been a particularly troublesome day there would have been times in the past uh, where you were in trouble and you went through the day and you one step at a time or maybe in other ways you just got through that day or maybe it was today, or maybe it's this particular patch that's really hard. So just take a moment and say to yourself, well done for just, well done, and say your name and notice how that feels. Because we spent so much time telling ourselves off for all the things that we have decided we're doing wrong. So just take a breath and notice that it's the evening and you've gone through the day and you've done what you needed to do. And just say, well done, and your name in your head. And notice how that feels. Okay. And if that makes you take a deeper breath, just enjoy it. Okay, so we're going to be going deeper. Just before we do go deeper, or we indulge in going deeper, uh, we'd first like to add another improver that's a great link between um, <laughs> the quick stuff and the slow stuff and it can be very deep which is about how to relax and worry less okay so this will lead us into the, the going deeper uh, and it um, we said um, the part of the reason for this webinar is to give a taste of our e-retreats um, well in one e-retreat uh, that's coming up which is called fuck it therapy 
um, it's coming up in 10 days, we spend a full 90 minutes, uh, it's a 90 minute module on this very topic of, of how to relax and worry less. Um, but for now, we're just going to get a quick taste, yeah. Guy. Of, we're having a much longer meditation at the end. Yeah. But as we're yeah. actually experiencing stuff while we yeah. go through it, let's have a few minutes yeah. uh, to feel a little bit of going, coming down, going into the body and relaxing. And just let yourself take a couple of deeper breaths, how to relax and worry less. We're going to keep this simple, just really getting the feeling in the body. So take a couple of deeper breaths and notice how that feels. Sometimes we've just been going fast through the whole day and to be able to have a moment to notice that it's pretty much done what you had to do and you can just be here. And if you're sitting, just feel the feet on the floor. Just notice the ground here for you, holding you. The chair you're sitting on, supporting you. Notice if you are letting it support you. How would it be to let that chair hold you and support you 10% more? What would your body do? when it hears this and notice how it is the body does it by itself to give in to the chair 10% more and for the feet to really let the ground be there under your soles be there a little bit more holding you a little bit more and then notice, it's amazing because when we give it space and time, the body does it by itself. The body is seven times slower than the speech. So we need to just give it time. And then I'd like you for a moment to connect to a place that makes you feel really well. It's usually a natural place for people. And as you imagine it, or even remember the name of the place, just feel what that does now to your body. Remembering that place and even better imagining you are in it, feeling that ground under your feet. If it's a beach, it would be sand. If it's wood, it would be earth. Let yourself feel that. Under your feet, the air on your face, the sounds coming into your ears the sun perhaps touching your whole body and notice how that feels in your body notice what's happening next in your body Okay, thank you, Gaia. So relaxing and tuning in, and going in, yeah, is a key. It's a key thing that we teach, isn't it? With um, with fuck it, with our fuck it retreats, and in the e retreats that we're doing, um, and it's clearly also another good way to respond in times of trouble, to relax ourselves down. So that skill of being able to relax and go inside and find a calm and gentle place and a, a place that feels good is very, very important. 